at nine. <laughs> yeah, but here you can see spring coming through. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wonderful. The water flowing. Yes. We are now in the middle of April and still it's pretty much winter here <laughs> as we are living so high up in the mountains. Of course, also the winter is very, very long. Usually it lasts up until the middle of May that we are having snow around here. And still every year I am amazed how different these episodes of the winter are. You might think that uh, when you have such a long winter that it's yeah, basically just like the same for six or seven months, but it's really not like that. So the winter that we are having right now is so completely different than the winter we had in December or January, for example. So it definitely feels like um, a new season where we are in right now. It's very, very bright. <laughs> the days are very long again and the lake is still frozen and a lot of snow everywhere. And yeah, it's um, quite overwhelming <laughs> with all this light that is reflecting from everywhere. And I would definitely also say it's the most challenging part of the year. Yesterday we got 30 centimeters of new snow and I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's starting to get a bit challenging, but of course we are trying to make the best out of it. And um, of course this is also very nice. But besides of that, I guess it just, yeah, has been a little while again since I uploaded my last video. I think I uploaded that in February. So I guess in this video I would just like to check in with you a little bit again, say hello and also share with you everything that I've been capturing these last weeks and months. I have not filmed that much, but I think a little bit um, from Joachim's new art collection. It's a very special collection this time, but he will tell you about that in a minute. And we have been on a snow scooter trip and we yeah, basically just have been living our lives here at our new home in these yeah, very bright <laughs> March days. So I hope you will enjoy these impressions. Hello. <laughs> How 
How's it going? Oh, I have to turn out the light because the light is flickering. How's it going? It's going well. I'm almost finished with the, with the launch and I have been painting an incredible amount the last uh, two months, actually. Yeah, but this is not all of them, right? No, there are even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very special because we have decided that from now on to make it a little bit more exciting that every shop opening will have a theme. Yes. So, uh, yeah, fantasy worlds are the, are the theme for this launch. So I love fantasy worlds ever since I was a child uh, just Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter and these these worlds I mean it's something I make and do anyway in a way but this fantasy means kind of breaking all kinds of conventions and just delving into a completely different world it's been so much fun it, uh, it's really meant uh, learning new things and everything that glows in the night and stars and uh, mysterious objects deep in the woods. That's what I love to do. I love creating worlds where you can just lose yourself in. And that's what fantasy always does for me. And I hope that will come through in what I created. Already and packed, and yeah, will be sent now. Off to <laughs> all over the world. Mm -hmm. This sacred <laughs> place are all the artworks and everything that Joachim has created. This is our local post office actually. They have been very kind because we have been a little bit too late. So they um, have been very kind and took the packages in anyways. It's always really funny when we come here with our big <laughs> load of packages because- No one yeah. else does that. No, of course not. We are like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Nee, das muss dann richtig krass stark sein. Doch. Oh, doch. Yeah, the Northern Lights. Oh, it is actually quite strong. Oh, that is really magical. And then, of course, there has been this whole topic with our van. If you have seen my last video, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you haven't, I will put the link to the video down in the description there. I'm telling the whole story about what happened. But um, to make it short, we have been in a car accident in January in a snowstorm and crashed with our van. And since then, it has been... A question if it's possible to save this van or not if we have to buy a new car and yeah that's definitely the question that has been occupying our minds in these last couple of weeks okay we were just at the water repair shop one more time one more time <laughs> 
Korea just, uh, just to get a second opinion basically um, about the car and what he's supposed to do with it. And, um, yeah, I guess we are pretty much set that it's time for a new car for us and that this car, I don't know, maybe gets a second life as a working car somewhere maybe yeah. in this area here. Or, It just doesn't really make sense, I guess. No, it doesn't. But it was good to know everything because exactly this process of letting go has been really important too. Yeah, and just be really sure about yeah. it and get a second opinion. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that. That's that. Well, you missed this. Oh God, I don't know. Oh. I had a sleepless night <laughs> because yeah this might be the day where we are going to have to say goodbye to our beloved camper van here yesterday we put this van here out for sale um, as a reparation object and got a message from someone who was actually interested in uh, keeping the camper furniture in it and that would of course be very nice if this car gets uh, a second life as a as a camper for someone and um, my original plan was to build all the furniture out and maybe reuse some of the materials um, and yeah so that the uh, back is free for i don't know maybe someone will use it as a working car or something like that um, but yeah, if someone just wants to use it for some summer holidays or as a camper, it's still a very good car. And um, yeah, that would be kind of the the dream, <laughs> I think. So uh, the job for now is that we're just going to clean everything up and then we're going to Röhrost to meet this guy. And yeah, maybe, maybe this car will then already go with this new owner. And uh, yeah. Drive. Maybe we don't know. Of course, yeah. if he's going to, uh, if he's going to take the car. But if he were, then this is our last journey to oh. in this van. Strange. It's very strange. Somehow it all went route so quick. Yeah, we I thought we would have weeks and we would build out everything, and there'd be time to kind of say goodbye. Yeah, I thought that we were just going to put it out, and I. I really didn't thought that there was such an interest no, in, my God. in this land. It would take maybe in a week, someone would say maybe, and then it would, in one day, mm -hmm. we got a lot of messages. 10, 20 people have now. Oh, it's really sad. It is. I also always like to drive this car. Mm -hmm. oh, until we're stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can actually. Okay, for one last time, you did us the favor <laughs> to not get stuck in the snow. It's. That was very nice. Yes. Van soaked. Van uh, so sold. sold. <laughs> bye. Bye bye, Van. It's really so cold, and then to verlassen. Ja. Den. And now we are vanless, so to speak. It definitely has not been easy to let this van go. I have shared quite a history with this car. It was the first car that I bought for myself. I have worked the whole summer to be able to afford it and then I have built it out as a camper all by myself um, in a quite a rush in four months and since then it has been giving me all this freedom that I have been longing for so much and it really was like a little home that I could just take with me and has been bringing us to the very very north last summer and it definitely has brought us a lot of joy and a lot of adventure and I think that when you spend so much time 
with a car you really get a relationship with it and even though I'm still very very certain that it has been the right decision when you live so far away from everything you spend a lot of time in cars and then you just need something that works and something that is reliable and yeah so there's time for something new Yeah, so I guess that is pretty much what has been going on here in these last couple of months. And of course, also that has not been everything that has been happening here. And that is actually also something that, yeah, I would just like to say a few words about because I keep getting uh, messages from some of you why there aren't coming so many videos at the moment. And first of all, I would just really like to say how much I appreciate that you are asking and that you are interested in these videos that um, yeah, really means a lot and um, at the same time yeah I guess this winter just has been a very mm, important period for me again it has been very transformational <laughs> on a personal level and it just has been very, very important for me to allow myself to take this space and to take this um, time for this process. It definitely also has been very challenging to do so, but um, yeah, at the same time, I'm also quite proud of myself that um, that I managed to to take or to give myself this time. I guess this is also what I came here for to Norway uh, or it was one of the most important reasons why I came to Norway in the first place that I have just been longing for this time and this space to um, yeah, find back in my strengths or find back to myself and um, yeah, digest everything that has been happening in the past and uh, that is pretty much what I <laughs> guess I have been doing these last uh, months as well while yeah of course keep the balance of our business and uh, try to keep that up and running in this YouTube channel and yeah it, uh, <laughs> it definitely has been a little bit uh, challenging so I yeah really appreciate every single one of you who's uh, uh, sticking with us here on this channel even though there's not yeah coming so much content at the moment and it's just really important for me that you know that it's really not because I don't want to or yeah it's it definitely has other reasons at the moment and I also know that there will be other times again there will be times where there will be coming much more content and I also have the feeling that this yeah, might be happening quite soon actually so uh, yeah I guess there are times for everything and this time it has just been very important for me to yeah focus on that part of life I really hope that you can understand that and um, yeah as I said I really appreciate you for still being here on this channel and um, yeah keep following us on our journey and Yes, mm. I think it's so important to yeah, also value all these different periods of our life. We tend to give the periods of our lives where we are in our strength and very productive and outgoing uh, that we yeah, value them more than the other periods where it might yeah, be different, where we're more in the quiet, where... Yeah, we might not get so much stuff done um, and I guess I would just yeah send my love out to everyone of you who's 
on a healing journey right now as well. And I just want you to know that you are doing an incredible job. Um, and yeah, that it's just as valued and important than everything that is, yeah, the everything that might has a more um, visible outcome. Um, so I hope you feel seen and valued in that. And uh, yeah, that you can allow yourself to take all the time that you need and that you're doing an amazing job yes i guess that is just what i wanted to say and i will see you in my next video that will i think come quite soon because i have already started to edit it it's about my visit uh, to dream valley the place or the little mountain farm where i lived when i first moved to norway and uh, I'm already really looking forward to share that video with you. I think that will probably come in the next, during the next week or two weeks. So, yes, thank you so much for watching and um, I'm sending you best wishes. Bye bye.